This is going to be me showing you guys how to use Zim Config Cloud. I will put the link in the description so you will be able to just click on it, log in and go straight to these instructions if you prefer to read it. But if you prefer to follow a video, let's get started. I'm going to quickly run through the process that we're going to be doing in this video just to make sure everyone is aware of what needs to be done first. So the first thing is obviously click on the link and that's going to take you to the Zim forum where you're going to need to log in to be able to do anything. Once you're logged in, you should be able to use a search bar at the very top of the screen to actually find the thing that you want. I'm going to be using Modern Warfare 3 because I found one that worked and it seemed to be fine for me. After you found it, you will need to copy some code, right? The code is not going to be anything that you will understand, so don't worry about it. Click on copy code for the section that you want. I'm going to be doing a full config. Now, there are different codes that you can copy or you can paste a part of a code. I'm not going to worry too much about that for this first part of the video. I'm going to only focus on copying a full config. Config. So after you click on copy code, you're going to go down, you're going to create a new config on your Zim matrix. And once you're inside the new config, as it says here, you're going to click paste. And when you do click paste, you're going to have, let me see if I can zoom in. You're going to have some different options and the options are going to be full config, aim only and mappings only. Again, I'm going to be doing full config, but feel free to try out whatever you think is best. After you do that, you should be able to save that config and use it just like the person who created it intended it to be used. This is me on my Zim Matrix app. I'm going to click on the cloud icon. It's going to take me to the website. If you're not logged in, it should ask you to log in. I'm going to go down to Modern Warfare 3. I think that's the one that I tried earlier and it worked fine. So War, uh, Modern Warfare 3, which was this one here. I'm going to click on that one. So you need to look through the entire list for the one that you want. And when you do find the one that you want, you simply click on the icon or the picture there. This is going to take me into exactly what this person says I should do. So all I'm going to do again is scroll through and look for the section you want. This is going to be a full config. Again, this is a full config. I'm going to click on copy code and that's it. I'm done with this for now. I'm going to go back to the Zim Matrix app. So swipe across, go there. I'm going to click on the options button at the top right hand corner. So that's the three dots. Click on the three dots. Click on new config. Once I click on new config, I'm going to look for Modern Warfare 3. So I'm going to type modern. It's going to be on this list here somewhere and it's going to be the 2023 version. Click on that. I'm going to do the Xbox Series X version. So I'm going to click on the first one there. If you want to do the Xbox One or the PS4, I don't know if these work backward compatible like that. So I'm just going to use the most recent one, which I'm guessing this has been tested for. So I'm going to go Series X. Uh, that's fine. I'm going to click on new here because I know it's going to be an Xbox. So I don't need to do the, um, the network thing. Click on new. Once my config has been created, as you know, you need to in game increase the sensitivity to the maximum. I normally do mine one notch below or two notches below. For example, if the maximum in, uh, sensitivity in game is 10, I normally do about nine. If the maximum is 20, I do about 18. That's what I normally do. It works okay for me, but do whatever you think is best. I'm going to click no for now on here. So this is the new config I just created. Now what I need to do, I need to click on the pencil or the pen in the top left hand corner. That's going to allow me to edit the config I just made. Once I click on that, there should be, yeah, there we go. There's an option here that says paste. When I click on paste, I have three different options. I have full config. So that gives me all the settings that that person has. It gives me the aiming only. This is going to be really, really good because I have a Logitech G Pro mouse. I'm guessing it's a quite a popular mouse or so people playing games that I play, I could copy their aim settings only, which would be perfect for me because if we're using the same mouse and using the same Zim, obviously should work just fine. Then we have mappings only. Mappings only, that, that would be your um, your keyboard buttons that you press or your controller buttons that you press, that's simply going to be the buttons you press. So mappings would be for keyboard and aim only would be for mouse. Full config is going to give you both mouse and the keyboard. So for me, for now, I'm going to click on full config. It pastes it there. And I don't think I need to do anything else. The Zim matrix did flash when I pasted that. So I'm guessing that's something that's updating over there. I'm going to swipe to my right, swipe to my right again, just to check what it actually pasted and swipe one more time. I don't understand anything that's going on here because I haven't dived that much into it. I'm going to scroll down just to show you guys what I'm seeing. Once that's done, I don't know what's been done, but once that's done, I'm going to click on save and I'm going to go back to my, which is going to be here. So there we go. So this is the one that I just created. I tested it before. So if I go to um, the menu again, so click on the dots, go to load config. 
I tested it with Modern Warfare 3 before with a different config and that's the one just above here. So it seems to be working fine. I haven't tested it in any games yet, but I wanted to show you guys the process first. I think what I want to do now is just to prove that this works perfectly fine in terms of copying the config. What I'm going to do is go back to my home screen again. I'm going to create a brand new config and have some random stuff in there just to show you that when I paste stuff in, it makes some changes. So I'm going to click on the dots again. I'm going to click on where it says new config and I'm going to choose a Modern Warfare 3 one again because I know that works. Modern Warfare 3, the 2023 version. Perfect. I'm going to click on the Xbox version again. Click on new. Let's wait for that to finish adding. That's now been added. I'm going to click on where it says no. I am going to swipe across first. So go to edit first. Swipe across just so I know exactly. Let's change this actually. Let me maybe change this to Modern Warfare 3 test. Modern Warfare 3, then call it test. I'm going to swipe across just so I know what my bindings are at the moment. So this is the original binding that came with Modern Warfare 3. I'm going to look at that. There's nothing in there at the moment. So I'm going to go back and save changes. But this time I'm going to go to the cloud. I am going to copy the Modern Warfare 3 binding, which was, where was it? Uh, let's search again quickly. Modern Warfare 3. Let's copy that one again. I'm going to scroll down again and I'm going to copy config code, right? When I copy that, it copies just like a normally would on an Android or iOS. Go back to the app again. And in here, again, I'm still on the new Modern Warfare 3 test. As you can see, the name is there. Click on the pencil. And again, let's swipe, let's swipe all the way across just to see what we had in there again. Everything seems normal. Perfect. I'm going to go all the way back across and down here, I'm going to click paste. And uh, this time I'm going to do mappings only because I wanted to see if the buttons actually changed. So again, mappings only would be for keyboard. Aim only would be for mouse and full config would be mouse and keyboard stuff. So I'm going to do mappings only. It seems to be copied over fine. The matrix flashed, swipe across and look, all that extra stuff has been added in. I don't know. Again, I don't know what's going on, but it's been added in. I'm going to click on save. The matrix is going to flash. This is going to save. And this is just a proof of concept, just to prove to you guys that this works. 